Welcome to Blind Bourbon and Whiskey Reviews. I'm your host, Lindsay, and this is John, risking his liver to discover new bourbons. We base our reviews off of a 25-point scale we developed and then multiply that by 4 to get up to 100. We start with 5 points for smell, then 10 points for taste, then 5 for the finish, and 5 points combined for the look of the bottle and the liquid inside. Now on to the review. Get off my whiskey. You're rude. It actually smells pretty good. I know. So this one's really weird because I'm pretty sure you're going to be like, you're going to eyebrow me a lot. Yeah, that right there. This is. You spelled marshmallow wrong. I did not. It has a W at the end. No. Well, you know what? I was thinking about a Jeez. caramel. Well. Um, so I got a lot of weird smells on this. Yeah. But it's a weird whiskey. Um, I got like a spearmint oak <laughs> when I first smelled it. Like it has a really pleasant oaky smell to it, but there's like spearmint under there. Okay. I don't know. But then I got like this creamy, not like this creamy, and I couldn't put my finger on it for a minute. But it's like a toasted marshmallow. Like if you toast a marshmallow and you take the, the y'all know what I'm talking about, the crusty part off of it that you toasted and it's just that marshmallow, it has like that certain smell to it. That's what I'm talking Wouldn't about. Wouldn't that just be a melted marshmallow? Pretty much. Kind of, but it's still toasted. Did you get apricot toasty. again? Yeah. I got apple and apricot. Mm. And I got vanilla and like a dark, I don't, I wanted to say like a, some kind of succulent, nice fruit, but it's not quite a cherry, but it's not a plum. I I do smell I the know. fruit. I don't know what it is. It kind of reminds me of red vines, but... I don't know. I don't know. And then I got bubble gum. Yeah, I can but see that. But it's like, like, you know how... It is very strong smelling. Yeah. It's like the, like, double bubble. Like, it's kind of almost like a bubble gummy mint esque kind of smell but it's nice i don't mind it so i gave it a four out of five how the taste yeah so i'm not off put by it but some of those really strong flavors come through. There is like a creamy marshmallow-ish kind of feeling to it, but it's very oaky and peppery. Um, it turns into like an apple-y, marshmallow, cinnamon-y, kind of like putting ice cream on like a apple cobbler kind of thing, where it has like that cinnamon crunchy toppy, like all of that meshing flavor, which is really pleasant, but it doesn't give me the sweet that I want. Which is weird. Because thinking of like warm apple crisp with ice cream, I think that's a lot of sweet. And I don't get any sweet. Yeah. Um, but it's not sweet, but the flavors that are coming out are really nice. And there's like a little bit of vanilla. There is a little bit of that spearminty bubblegummy kind of flavor to it. But it's not bad all around. It's pretty decent. Um... I gave it a seven and a half out of five or ten. Ah, seven and a half out of ten. Um, Drinking a little bit too much. It's good though. I mean, it is good stuff. It's just I wish that it was a little bit sweeter. I wish there was like the complexity you get from the smells. I wish came out in the liquid, but eh. the finish. The first couple sips that I took. Obviously, we've gone through this with you guys before. We don't take off of like the first few I take a few sips and then I start analyzing it but it just makes it really warm right here <laughs> it's not a hug but it's not uncomfortable like heartburn or anything like that it just warms you up you feel it going all the way down um I would say it was, it's a medium to long finish it lingers like right in my cheeks um if you can't tell my bright red cheeks um, and on the sides of my tongue and it's like that oaky apple-y taste so I don't mind it at all 
and then it kind of just slowly starts to fade away but like I took a sip a couple minutes ago and I can still feel it right back here in the back of my throat um so I gave the finish a four out of five the it's very pretty um it's not super shimmery but it does shimmer it reminds me of like a bright golden honey um very thick legs it beads up along the edges where it did come out um so I gave the look of it a two I think it's it's decently if it was a little darker I'd be super happy with it but mm. so I guess that it was I think it's a Buffalo Trace store pick maybe because it has that esque of it but then it's kind of odd so I don't think it is no, but you want to hear the cork pop? Guess how far? No, don't look. I'm not looking. <laughs> Shh. Close your eyes. They are closed. You don't get to do that to me. Well, it's plastic. What did you feed me? Uh, you got a Walking Dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. Who makes this? Uh, it is sourced and it is sourced from Diageo, which the only bourbon I can think of that they do is Bullet that would source. Don't quote me on that. That's not for sure. That's um, very. It does take like taste like a, a higher rye mash bill. It is their first badge. They're going to come out with four different ones. Um, Spirits of the Apocalypse. Look, if there is an apocalypse and this is all you had. It's not that bad. It's it is really a Kentucky not. straight bourbon, so it does have a little bit of age. I think it's more than the two-year minimum. I bet you it's four or five. Um, 94 proof. Oh, I see. Okay. I'm pleasantly surprised by it. We are Walking Dead fans, so I had to buy it, and even whether it was good or bad, it, it cost me like thirty-five bucks. The I first thing I would that. go, I wouldn't pay thirty-five dollars for it. Well, I did. I wouldn't. Well, yeah. Well, he did, not me. Um, it wouldn't be a pick that I would take firsthand, but no. it's not. It's not bad. It's not. I don't know. It's this not. has a serving size on it, and Cal. I've never seen that. I haven't either. That's weird. Um, it's not anything crazy, but it's not something that I wouldn't drink either. I mean, I was looking on their sites, and they just have a bunch of different cocktails, so I don't think they really recommend it neat. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that in like some ginger ale. It would or be Sprite. good. It would be good in like an old fashioned. It's yeah. spicy. It's yeah. I I thought it was sweeter than you described it. You wanted more sweetness. I sweet don't as... think it's that sweet. I was but... content with it. Um, there's really not much to say about it. I mean, okay, so the bottle. It doesn't taste like The Walking <laughs> Dead. It tastes like bourbon. You know what The Walking Dead tastes like? I assume like death. Ang ang ang. He runs around biting people, apparently. Okay. So, the bottle. I didn't really look at this when you bought it, to be honest. That's not bad. Um, so, there's four knights, like chess knights. I don't know what that is right here. Because they're going to do four different ones. Okay. <laughs> um, it has, like, a knife with a heart. Or, no, that's a tiger with a knife in See, his mouth. that's stamped to... That's to the signify first this is the that's first That's going to be the second, third, and fourth. So and I then don't... they have Carl, his skeleton. Carl. A skeleton with an eye patch and a Carl. hat. Shut up. You shut up. And then, I don't I know. I wish they could see my face. Just take a bite out of it. Um, and then they have like an anvil with a hammer kind of thing. And then they have like a angel. I don't know what. They got a lot going on in the front of So they're of doing bottle. three more batches. I wonder if that means they're going to keep the show going for at least three more seasons. Because I don't think it's been as good as it used to be. But uh, whiskey's better than the last season. I know that. So it says, um, the Walking Dead Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey 
An apocalypse has swept the globe, causing the dead to rise and feed on the living. In a matter of months, society has crumbled. There is no government, no grocery stores, no mail delivery, no cable TV. Luckily, there are spirits. So, uh, this is what it looks like on the front. I'm going to back. My little hand's coming up out of the ground. And there's bloody fingerprints all over it, which is kind of cool. Um, where Pretty much where you would grab the bottle if you were to pick it up. Um, I don't mind the bottle? the bottle. Not... It is very cinnamony. Yeah, it's very cinnamony. Um, it's not my favorite bottle of all time. It's very plain Jane. Um, but the label, I mean, the label's pretty cool. I like that they put, like, bloody fingerprints on it, and it's all torn up, and the hands are coming out. So, um, and I do like, like, the different batches that they've got going on in the bottom. Obviously, if you're a Walking Dead fan, you understand. If not, this is all a little gibberish to you. But... I would give the bottle 1.25. Okay. Not crazy about yeah. it, but it's got pretty decent looking. So, um. Add up your stores. That would get. Probably need a couch. 8, 15.5, 16, 17, and 1 half. Yeah, So I gave it a 75. I feel fair with that. It is not as the worst thing I've drank. <coughs> oh, girl. <laughs> but it's not something that I would go and just grab because I would die in to have it. I don't mind keeping it. I don't mind having it around. I mean, I'm not going to throw it out. I don't think I, I would probably pay. won't buy another one for no. 35. Probably won't either, but. I'll buy every batch, maybe. We'll see. Uh, if they all taste different, might as well try them all. Maybe. So that wraps up this review. Leave a comment if you have tried this whiskey and let us know what you thought. Please like and share us to social media, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to leave a suggestion for our next review. Thanks for watching.